Professor Garibaldi, what are we going to learn today? Today we're going to see how computers can take stimuli from the external analog world and store them digitally in the computer. So take an example. Here's an example of a volume knob um, uh, in, in a rotational form or as a slider. Ah. And what's essentially happening here is that the position is a variable resistance. So if we can convert this variable resistance to say voltages between some range, 0 to 3 volts, 3.3 volts, then we can take that voltage and store it inside our computer as a 12-bit number using an analog to digital converter. That means that any signal that we can convert into a voltage could then be entered into the computer with the A to D. That is correct. Let me show you some examples. The first is a strain gauge and it could be used to measure force or pressure. Here's a thermistor that can be used to measure temperature. Here's another temperature sensor. It's an integrated circuit. Here's a microphone that measures sound. Ah, and here's a digital camera. It looks at the image and creates a two-dimensional digital array of what it sees. Here's a GPS that senses the coordinates of where you are, latitude and longitude. Here's the infrared distance sensor we're going to put in our robot, and it measures distance. Here's another distance sensor. This is an ultrasonic distance sensor that gives you distance. And here is a catheter that measures biopotentials. This ring right here is inside the heart, and it allows the pacemaker to measure the biopotentials in your heart. Yes, as a matter of fact, the launch pad has internal sensors for sem sensing temperature. Ah. So what are we going to build? We're going to build a robot. And the robot car we're going to build will use infrared sensors. This is different from our bump sensors, which sensed an obstacle by actually colliding with it. Now, we're going to measure the distance from the obstacle, and then we're going to take evasive action so that we can avert bumping against the obstacle. Ah. So this is a classic control system. In other words, our objective is to drive straight down the middle of the road. And we're going to begin by sensing where we are to tell where we are relative to the middle of the road. And then the software in the computer will then adjust the power to the two motors in an attempt to drive fast and straight. That is correct. Let's build it. Let's.